want to talk about a new uh, option that's been requested a few times that's coming to uh, market. It's delimited text translator. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at it. We'll go ahead and open this up real quick. One of the things that gets asked of me quite often is um, how to set the 008 so that the data that's being stored in uh, 260 260 subfield C, with, if available, can be applied to the, the date found in the 008. Um, up until this point, that's not really been possible, um, but that's going to be changing. So here's a, a test file that I've created, um, Terry Reese, the title. This is going to be my 260 and my 260 subfield A. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how this works. So we go ahead and we set our file. This is my test file, test limited. We're going to go ahead and save it. And then we need to edit the LDR. By default, it puts in the 9999, which tells it that it's unknown. But I'm going to go ahead and change it to the field that I want to put it in and the subfield. So 260 subfield C, put it in as a mnemonic. Tell it OK. And the rest of everything here is fine. I'll go ahead and tell it forward. Um, now it's went ahead and, and it gives me my first field. Um, I have a template, so I'm going to go ahead and load it and explain what I've done here. Um, so I've set field 1 as subfield A, I've set field 0 as subfield A, and I've joined those two together um, by selecting the two fields, right-clicking, and joining those items. Um, then I set a 245, and then I did the same thing with the 260. I set the uh, field 4 as subfield A, uh, field 3 as subfield C, and then I joined the two items together um, and uh, saved the template. So that's this is my template. Um, I'm going to go ahead and process the do document. Um, it's translated it, and I get this file here, and if I look at it, you'll see that the subfield C, which includes a period, um, has been normalized and moved into the 008, and that mnemonic uh, 260 subfield C has been replaced by the date that was found there. Um, so a couple of caveats. The way that the program works is that it has to normalize the data that's found in whatever you've defined as the sub uh, 260 subfield C. Um, and that is the, uh, the field that it's going to look for and try and pull the data out of, at least at this point. Um, if, if there are other fields that people are interested in, in being able to use um, for date elements, um, I'll just have to uh, uh, find out about that. But this is the common place where um, the date traditionally would be found in a mark record. Um, the uh, data gets normalized because date information that shows up in the 260 subfield C isn't necessarily numeric. Um, when non-numeric data is encountered, um, the program will default to using the uh, unknown 9999 date if it can't determine a four-digit four date code. Um, otherwise, whatever is in that, that date value will get placed and plugged into the 008. So hopefully this will answer one of the questions that gets asked quite often and, and provides enough explanation so that people will be able to make use of this in the future. This will be something that will show up in the next version of Mark Edit, the next update, which is planned for October 2011.